Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with C Programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, I am gonna talk about recursion in C. So first we know what is a recursion. A function that can call itself is called recursion. Let's see an example to explain the recursion. Here we will write a function name display and the function display prints something to the screen. So the first thing that we need to do write the prototype that is void display. Next we call this function from the main function. Next we need to define this function. So write here void and then function name that is display and inside the body of this function we print something. So I am going to write here printf hello friends. Now we call this function display again here. So write here display. Now what happened? program execution start from the main function and inside the main function it finds a function call and the control transfer here then it print this statement then call the display function and the control go here and then again print this statement and then call the display function and the control go here and then print this statement and then again call this display function and this procedure is continue let's check the output compile it and run it as you can see here, it print the message infinite times. Now the question is, is it a recursion? The answer is no. The recursion never means that a function call itself infinite times. Recursion is a way to decompose a task into smaller subtasks. So the every time the function call itself, the call function should be smaller than the caller function. Finally, the call function becomes so small that it gives a direct solution. The small instance of problem is called base condition or termination condition. A simple example to explain the recursion is factorial of a number. Before write the program, you have to know what is a factorial. The factorial of a number is the product of all the integers between one and that number. For example, 5 factorial equal to 5 multiplied with 4 multiplied with 3 multiplied with 2 and then multiplied with 1 and which is equal to 120. 4 factorial equal to 4 multiplied with 3 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 1 which is 24. Similarly, 3 factorial equal to 6, 2 factorial equal to 2, 1 factorial equal to 1 and 0 factorial equal to 1. Let's move to the coding. Here we see how to write a program to find the factorial of a number using recursion. Inside the main function, our first task is to asking user to enter a number. So I am going to write here printf, please enter a number and then a slash n. Next we need to read the input number. So I am going to write here scanf person d and then m person n. We need to declare n as an integer type variable. So I am going to declare here int n. Next we need to call a function name factorial and pass the input number n as a parameter. So write here factorial and within parenthesis write n. Next we need to define this function. The function factorial returns an integer value. So the return type will be int and then write the function name that is factorial and within parenthesis write the passing parameter that is int x. Inside the function body our first task is to write the termination condition of the recursion function. Here we check the passing value is equal to 1 or not. So I am going to write here if x equal to equal to 1. If the value of x is 1 then it return 1 because factorial of 1 is always 1. If it returns 1, then our function will be terminate. If the passing value is more than 1, then it execute the else block. So write here else. And inside the else block, it return x multiplied with factorial x minus 1. This part indicate it call the factorial function again, but for a different value, which is 1 less than the before. Each time factorial function call for a value which is one less than the previous value. Let's see how recursive function is work. Suppose the value of x is 5. Then it check if x equal to equal to 1. No, the condition is false. Then it execute else block 
and it return x multiplied with factorial x minus 1. For 5, it will return 5 multiplied with factorial 5 minus 1, that is factorial 4. It call the factorial function again, and this time value of x is 4, and then it check if x equal to equal to 1, no, this condition is false. Then it execute else block, and it return 4 multiplied with factorial 4 minus 1, that is factorial 3. Now the value of x is 3, and it return 3 multiplied with factorial 2. Then the value of x is 2, and it return 2 multiplied with factorial 1. Now the value of x is 1. Then it check if x equal to equal to 1, the condition is true and then it return 1. So we get 5 multiplied with 4 multiplied with 3 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 1 which is equal to 120. Let's move to the coding. The function factorial returns an integer value. To receive this value we need a variable so I am gonna write here fact equal to factorial n and we need to declare fact as an integer type variable. So write here fact. Next we need to print the value. So I am going to write here printf factorial of percent d is percent d and here we refer n and fact. The last thing that we need to do write the prototype that is in factorial int. Let's check the output, compile it and run it. It asks you please enter a number, I am gonna enter 5. Factorial of 5 is 120. Let's check one more time, compile it and run it. Please enter a number, I am gonna enter 6. Factorial of 6 is 720. That's it, hope you understand, see you in next tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe this channel.